Peggy 18. So Detroit is a neo-noir thriller uh, taking place in the near future where we are going to uh, be in the shoes of three androids who will fight to, for freedom. And uh, actually it's a game in which uh, you, play, you play this character, you play the stories, you make decisions, and by making decisions, you tell your own story. So it all started with this short that uh, we created in 2012, it was called Kara. It was about this uh, female android uh, that was built in a factory in real time in front of you and we realized that she has emotions, she has feelings and she wants to be uh, alive, she wants to be free. And uh, at the end of the short she leaves the factory and we don't really know what happens to her. I was still haunted by the, this character and what happens to Kara when she leaves the factory. So when we had to think about what we wanted to work on, I really wanted to revisit the story and, and, and give, you know, and, and tell them what comes after that when she leaves the factory. If the Android industry had to settle somewhere in the world today, it would probably be in Detroit because of this great past, but also because there are a lot of empty factories, there's a lot of space. For me, the story had to be grounded in, in the real world, so I absolutely wanted a real a real city, and honestly, I, I didn't have a list of cities. It was really Detroit, and, and, and that was it. Well, creating a game that has the, the as a title the name of a real place is something very challenging, because at the same time you want to be inspired by by the locations, and and you really you want to you want these places to fit into the story that you have to tell. But at the same time. It's very important that you are very respectful for the people living there so they don't get the feeling that you use their city and you use their daily lives basically to tell your story. We really thought of Detroit as the fourth playable character somehow and uh, from its, its history, it's, uh, it's a character that started as a very powerful place and very wealthy place and it went through very hard times and now it's coming back trying to be born again. So in the game what we're trying to do is really to make this character alive somehow and not have a static background but rather have a, a character that would evolve and change through the story. So at the beginning you can see a, a sunny version of Detroit somehow and then it becomes rainy and then it's really pouring rain and becomes darker and darker before snow arrives and, and snow uh, covers everything near the end. Well, it's a very emotional moment for me to come back after having spent four years of my life working on the city. And it, it's funny because we visited the city first and so we started with a real place, but for four years it became a, a, a virtual place, something that we recreated. And coming back after four years and seeing the real place again is, a really, uh, is really an interesting experience, very, very moving experience for me. Para vosotros, jugadores.